Hey, this is Pastor Sanjay, and welcome to day three out of the 21 Days of Hunger. The chapters that we're going to be highlighting today are Genesis chapters 22 to 23 and Hebrews chapter 11. So I want to ask you a question. What is our response when our faith is tested? As we look in Genesis 22 and 23, we see about a man named Abraham. And Abraham has a son, Isaac. And if we go back even further in Genesis, we see how Isaac was the promised son of Abraham and Sarah. And the son that they waited for and prayed for for years and years and years and years. And Abraham loved Isaac. However, one day we see how God spoke to Abraham and said, sacrifice your son in the region of Moriah. And Abraham, although not wanting to sacrifice his son, obviously because it's the son in whom he loves, he, he goes and obeys what his God is telling him. And he goes and sacrifices, or plans to sacrifice, he does not sacrifice his son, but he goes and plans to sacrifice his son out of obedience to what his Lord is saying, to what God is saying. And he goes and plans to do that. He goes up to the region of Moriah. He has Isaac with him. He plans to sacrifice his son. And then he's told to not sacrifice his son. He does not have to. But it's a, it's, it's a remarkable story of, show, of, of seeing how someone like Abraham, how a person could have so much trust and faith in their God that, okay, Lord, even if what you are telling me seems really difficult and really impossible to do, I'm still going to do it because I trust you. I'm still going to do what you are telling me to do because I know what you are saying is good. So how does that apply to us as followers of Jesus today? In Hebrews 11, we see how it says in, in verse 1, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Can you see what 20 steps look like ahead of where you are right now? Probably not. Can you see what 20 years looks like, what, what 10 years, what 5 years, even what a month looks like? You can't. And are there things in your life maybe that, that, that you are called to lay down to increase your hunger for God? I'm not saying to, to sacrifice you, your children or your loved ones or any human being in any matter, but I'm saying more or, more or less like the things in your life that might be maybe distracting you, might be pulling you away from God. Are you called to sacrifice even things that you love? For me, for, for the fast, it's, it's, it might be something like coffee. It might be something like tea. What are you called to lay down in your life to increase your hunger for your God? And if he tells you to do something, is your response going to be, yes, God, whatever you say, I'm going to be obedient? Or is it going to be, no, nah, I don't really want to do that? I think the first response is best. God, whatever you are telling me to do, I'm going to do because I trust you. And as followers of Jesus, we have the ability to trust in our God because he is good. And what he says is good and what he says will come to pass. So let's pray. Jesus, I pray a blessing over my brothers and sisters who are watching this video. Father God, may you increase their hunger as they sacrifice things in their life for you. Father, as, as, as they're going through this fast, as they are desiring to see more of you in their life, Father, would you show yourself so clearly to them and show them that you are their God, that Lord, if they have you, they have all that they need. So God, I pray a blessing over them, their mind, their families, their households. We pray all these things in Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you. Take care.